All right, so we are back with talking about our background that we are going to create and um, how backgrounds just are important in your picture. And so um, this is part two of our video. And today we are going to decorate the foreground or the main subject. Remember, this was just the background part. And then on this side, we are going to create our uh, main subject. And I thought it would be a lot of fun maybe to draw a, um, I don't know, I was actually thinking honestly of drawing a unicorn. I don't know why. Maybe it's because you guys had me draw unicorns a lot during our, our time in our art class and I thought, mm, I'm missing them so I guess I want to draw a unicorn today. So that is going to be my subject on this side of the papers, our unicorn. You can draw that with me, or if you have something else that you'd rather draw instead of a unicorn, you can go ahead and draw something else. So the way I draw horses or unicorns, because they have the same body type, is I always start with the head first. And I know when you look at a horse first, you're like, Miss Anderson, it doesn't have a circle. Well, that's because I know that when I draw horses and unicorns, I know that their body type... Um, they have two circles right there and then I can connect these two together and when I erase this middle part inside right here I know that it is going to leave me with the correct shape of a horse or a unicorn it's the same thing I have the same body shape head shape like that and then you can go ahead and add an ear to it, some ears, and if it's a unicorn, then you get to add a horn on there. You can make yours as decorative as you want it to be. There's my unicorn. Give it a nose and some eyes right here. No, I want to add some sparkly eyes, so I'm going to change that, and I'm going to add eyes like that. That seems about right. Okay, now for the rest of the body type, we're going to draw the neck going to go kind of at an angle and just like I did with my front I start off with like two circles to help me draw the head I'm going to do the same thing with the body I'm going to draw two circles circle one and circle two for the back right next to each other they're about the same size and that is going to help me draw the back okay there's that and then I draw its legs I don't know, maybe you want one of his legs to be bent a little bit. I don't know. Those are decisions that you get to make as an artist. And then draw its hooves. And again, it's always a good idea to draw lightly. So you can erase. So there's that front part of my leg. This is going to be the back part of my leg. And again. You know what? I think I drew these two a little too close. I'm going to try that again. I'm just looking at it and I'm looking. My horse isn't looking quite right. So let's try that again. Draw that circle for the back. Maybe that's what I want. Does that seem that's about right? Remember a trick to see if you're gonna have yours on the same length is to draw an invisible line. I don't like how this back leg looks. Yeah, like that. I 
Horses, horses' legs are a bit tricky to draw because there's so many little details that you can put in. And you can make it look as real as you want it to look. This is a pretty realistic looking back leg. But if that's too complicated for you, then you can always just draw something that's a little easier for the back leg. And you can go ahead and just draw the leg coming straight down. And it'll be nice and easy that way. I know I have different level artists. Something easy like that. You can go ahead and draw something just as easy like that and then you can, again, when you want to show that there's two legs and you want to make it easy, then just follow this inside line that you have for the beginning of the leg. Just follow it all the way down and connect it on the bottom and you'll make it look like there's two legs back there. That's the easiest way to do it. And the same thing at the front. Start in the front, just follow that line that you've already made. That is the easiest way to make it look like there's a leg right there. And if you want something a little more challenging or a little more interesting, you can have this leg be bent a little bit like that. Like that. And it will make it look like a little more interesting. I don't like that part. I want to change that. Like that? Yes. Let's try that again. Like that. There we go. So there is my horse. Maybe give it some a tail. Think about what kind of tail you want it to have. Oh. And on the inside, erase your inside circles that helped you make your horse. And again, once you're done drawing, then you can go back and you can make your lines darker. You can add other details. Because right now, honestly, like if you look at this artwork, it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. But, you know, it can be better. It's missing some things. It's missing a background. Right now, my horse is just like, Miss Anderson, I'm bored over here. I got nothing cool behind me. And that is where our background is going to come into play and practice. So, let me color this. I'm going to fast forward through this. Um, and you decide how you want to color. You can use color pencils, you can use markers. Um, if you really want to paint it, you can. Although this is computer paper and so it's not going to be the best for painting. But you could if you really wanted to. So, you decide. Alrighty, so now that I'm done coloring, um, I had a lot of fun using my markers and I just went to town coloring and um, I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and I am going to cut out 
all of this white space, not counting my horse or my unicorn, and I'm going to cut all of that out um, because I want my background on the other side to come through and to show. So I'm going to go ahead and start by cutting down the middle slowly. I'm going to follow that line on the fold that I made very slowly and my friends who are maybe in kindergarten or in first grade or second grade if you need help with this part you can always ask your mom or your dad or your older brother or sister if you have um, at home um, somebody who can help you cut if you need help cutting um, if you want to practice um, and your mom and your dad are near you and they say it's okay well then I think this is a great practicing activity because um, it's not easy actually going around and cutting um, your details that you've created in your artwork but it's doable so go slow and go ahead and cut your white spaces out there's my subject. My unicorn is my subject. The background is the house. Pretty cool. It's a pretty fun art project to help you understand why doing a background is important because without a background it just looks kind of boring and plain. But with a background it makes it look a little more interesting. It makes it look three-dimensional. Pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you had fun with this art project. I know I did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!